this is just a tutorial on how to get the best quality out of your clips and the best quality from your Hipaka HDP VR straight to YouTube. Okay, first thing you want to do is open up Sony Vegas and just import your clip. I'll use this clip from Aura Champ and drag it into your timeline. The very first thing you want to do whenever you import a clip into Vegas is disable the resampling on it. So you just right click on the video track layer, it'll be the top layer. Click properties, disable resample, and hit OK. And what that does is it just it stops the blending between the frames and it just gives it a lot better quality. Um, also what you want to do is as you see these black lines up here, to remove them you right click on the video track layer, you go to video event pan crop and you make sure the these two, the lock aspect ratio and the size of out center are unchecked and what you want to do is just drag it this in a tiny bit on the top top part here and the right hand side here no one really knows why the HTPVR does that but it does and you can save this as a preset just as like black edges and that means, and just hit save up here, and that means every time you import a clip you can just go straight down to this black edges preset okay so with that done that's looking really nice up there here's my um, project settings, to get your project settings you can either go alt enter or I think file uh, properties down here and there will be a link in the description to my project settings like just PNG files so don't bother pausing the video here because I don't want to run over time and I'll have all these settings as an image in the description and hit OK and now for your render you go file render as and your save type will be set uh, probably to AAC or something like that drop it down to video for windows AVI um, I've already got my preset saved to my amazing settings because they are pretty bloody amazing um, go hit custom under custom again I will have um, images of my settings and the main thing is is this video format and to get this video format it's a, it's a completely different codec out of all of these you won't have it you'll have to download it there will be a link in the description again for this um, it'll be a game front file like this hit download now it's a really small file that shouldn't take less than a couple of seconds and you will get you will get this file here and what you do is just double click on it open it up, install it wherever you want it doesn't matter, Vegas will automatically detect it um, you'll have to close your Vegas um, bef before like this will appear and, but I've already got it installed so it'll already be there go into video format, your x264 codec, it's the best codec you can possibly get trust me I've used a lot and that is the best you can get hit configure and I will, ha I will have a picture of this again in the description simply copy down my settings they are really good settings, really clean, really clear and once you've done that just hit OK etc on the project just go um, video rendering quality to best hit OK and then just hit save and then I'll render it out um, there's no point in me rendering this because you know, I've already done it <laughs> so close this, you can close out of Vegas to Red Panda GG um, open up After Effects okay what I just did before on Vegas that's just your clip from your PVR to Vegas to rendering it, sending it off to your editor if you want to do like a commentary over a gameplay you can follow these settings this is like giving a color correction etc so import your clip I'll just go to uh, nice sentry gun swap by TSR Cruise open that and in After Effects drag this from your project down to that composition settings and what that does is it makes it generates a, a composition with the exact settings as your source media that you um, rendered from Vegas so that has it has the same same time length etc same um, frame rate and same dimensions 
and with this clip in here, just pick a clip where lots of the colours are showing, so that your colour correction doesn't look shit. Yeah, so on this, this is what we're looking for. That's a nice bit of blur at the top, blue colour correction, bit sharp and added. Yeah, so what you can do is under effects and preset, type in sharpen, and drag that into the timeline on top of your center, uh, on top of your clip and what this does is it just it brings out the pixels gives it a nice edge and it just generally makes the quality a lot better you can do this in Vegas but I prefer to do it in After Effects I'm not sure why move it up to uh, 14 14, 15 anything around there and if you just click the effects button down there that turns the effect on and off so as you can see, it just it just makes it a lot better. It's hard to tell until you've actually rendered it out. So with sharpen on, you can either hit Control Alt Y or right click New Adjustment Layer. And under Adjustment Layer, if you've got Magic Bullet Looks, which quite a few of you will have, just go right click Effect Magic Bullet Looks Looks. And up here, click Edit and drop down there's a preset from Rob Taser and he's got it's a really nice blue color correction that I've used before and that's really nice but quite a lot of you won't I, uh, I will have this file in the description if you want it but quite a few don't quite a lot of you won't have magical looks so just click cancel so under this top layer you can just delete Sorry, um, yeah, right click on this layer, click effect, um, color correction, and curves. And what color curves does is it just alters different layers and different channels. So on your RGB layer, you want to drop it down a tiny bit, and then what that gives is a nice little, it just, it just drops a light, uh, makes it, it makes it a lot better because Model 2 is quite bright. And um, the RGB layer, I mean the red layer, um, push the red up just a tiny bit, you don't want to move it too much, otherwise it looks shit. Um, drop that down, that gives a bit of green. Under your green layer, just drop down, drop it down a tiny bit. That gives it nice and blue, and the blue layer, drop it down a little bit. That's a, sh that's a, that's a really bad color correction, I'm sorry. But, yeah, follow those kind of rules, and you will get a lot better quality and look as you can see if you turn the adjustment layer off that's bright and ugly that's dark and ugly but you know if you muck around with it a bit you will get there for now I'll just use magic cool looks on it because it looks a lot better so just go file magic cool looks I will have this file in this quick like I said get finished Go. As you can see, it's that nice blue effect. And, oh, my computer's just going really laggy. I'm sorry. And uh, what you want to do is, is with these, with the adjustment layer selected, then hold, holding Shift, click on your clip, and then press Control Shift C, and move, and that's going to pre-compose it. And you move all the attributes to the new position. And see, as your pre-comp one, that just merges them together. You want to go right click new solid or control Y I think it is and that's just make a black solid like that um, under right right click on it go effect this is on your solid layer um, go effect generate and ramp and this is just for a blur and you make the start color white and your end color black and you want to drop down this, this white a bit. What happens is when you add the blur, is that the white areas will be blurred and the black areas will be normal. So you want to get a nice balance, um, somewhere around 540 on the on the black in color and 170-ish on the um, white color. And what you want to do is pre-compose that again. So Control Shift C and move all the tributes to new composition. Hit OK, and now click on this eye tool, 
and that's just what makes it visible what makes it visible and invisible so click on the eye tool on your black comp um, go back to your pre-comp one that's your clip with the color correction right click go effect um, blur and sharpen lens blur if you're on CS4 it's lens blur CS5 I think it's CC lens effect or, no it's CC lens blur sorry click on that that's that gives a really nice blur under re click repeat edge re repeat edge pixels and the blur focal distance at seven and here's the most important bit under um, depth matte layer click your black solid one comp one and there we go that's really nice that's that gives a nice blur at the top as you can see if we turn that effect off look that's clear and that's that nice blur at the top and you can pre-compose that again if you want to not necessary though and then to render it from after effects you want to go file uh, sorry composition make sure you click on, click on this composition composition add to render queue and then I again I will have links to these in the description they'll be called like after effects um, render settings and then after effects output module click on this um, on render settings and quality best, resolution best, etc. All this should this should all be in the description. Okay. Under output module, click on this again. And yeah, again, I will have a PNG file in the description for you to view because I don't want to go over time. Um, click under video output. There will be format options, and these settings again will all be in the description. Um, make sure your target bitrate 6, maximum bitrate 9. Uh, you can also pause the video if you want. Um, hit OK, that's all fine. And then under output, um, pick wherever you want, desktop, etc. And that's fine. I hope this helped. If you have any questions or anything, it's absolutely anything, just send me a message. I've only got 100 or something subs, so you know, not like I'm busy or anything. Um, yeah, I really hope this helped to get good quality because I'm sick of seeing all the videos with shit quality nowadays you know it's, e it's easy to do and yeah I hope you enjoyed like and comment please <laughs> all good